His announcement was no surprise. Jörg Meuthen has turned his back on the extreme right-wing AFD. Even one day after leaving, he finds clear words for the party and its radical course. So, the resigned AFD leader Jörg Meuthen no longer expects his previous party to return to a more moderate course. He says, I no longer see any future in the AFD political project as a pan-German party. He wrote that on Facebook on Saturday. For years, he had warned of the dangers of increasing radicalization, but he didn't get through from his point of view. The possibility of the AFD politically coming of age will not come back either. Meuthen also announced his resignation from the party on Friday, which he no longer sees on the basis of the Free Democratic Basic Order. He had been AFD chairman since July 2015. The 60-year-old initially wanted to be close to the radical forces in the party before he openly opposed them. Large parts of the party and with it a number of its leading representatives have opted for an increasingly radical cause, not just linguistically uninhibited, but for political positions and verbal gaffes, Moyton wrote on his Facebook page. And this would drive the party into complete isolation and further and further to the political fringes. Particularly shocking for him was a deep, verbally articulated disdain for not a few party members for those who think differently and for the established and proven mechanisms of parliamentary democracy, he said. He could no longer support this course that leads to the complete political sidelines, which at times has something downright sectarian in it, as he puts it. The Greens in Germany have a new dual leadership. Ricarda Lang and Omid Nuripur were elected with a large majority. And during his speech, the latter immediately said uh, something cheeky. Omid Nuripur and Ricarda Lang are the new leaders of the Greens. In the foreign politician's application speech, one statement in particular made people sit up and take notice. As a student, I worked as a waiter. Today, I can cook better than Lars Klingbeil and Friedrich Merz joked the new leader of the Greens. Lars Klingbeil, chairman of the Social Democrats, responded promptly on Twitter. I'm really looking forward to working with you both and dear Omid, I'm happy to be cooked for, said the congratulations uh, in his congratulations to the new Green Dual leadership. And Friedrich Merz, the new head of the Conservatives, did not respond to Nuripur's joking remark. He just tweeted, congratulations to Omid Nuripur and Ricarda Lang, on being elected leaders of the Greens, looking forward to fair competition. And Chancellor Olaf Scholz also congratulated the new Greens chairman on Twitter. And the Social Democrat co-leader Saskia Esken also tweeted that she was looking forward to working together. And Johannes Vogel, deputy head of the Liberals, wrote on Twitter, Congratulations on your election, dear Ricarda Lang. Here's to more dramatic westerns together. Congratulations to you too, dear Omid Nuripur. I'm looking forward to our thoroughly planned coffee. So far, the 46-year-old Nuripur has primarily made a name for himself as a foreign politician. As the new leader of the Greens, he will be responsible for the party's entire range of topics. Expansion of renewable energies, protection of species, social policy, affordable housing... Nuripur believes that good answers to these and other topics are the key to being able to play a part in the Chancellor question again in the future. Nuripur, who belongs to the so-called Realo camp, the, the real ones, confirmed in his application speech that the entire new leadership would also rework the election campaign in order to be even more successful next time. As party leader, he wants to make the Greens the leading force of the centre-left in Germany, as he emphasises. He sees the new party executive as a hinge between the grassroots and the Greens involved in the federal government. And there's one more thing. At 28, Lang is the youngest leader of the Greens, but can already look back on a long party career. Before she was elected party leader, Lang was deputy leader and women's policy spokeswoman for the Greens. She has also been a member of the Bundestag since last autumn. Born in 1994 in Filderstadt in Baden-Württemberg, Lang joined the party at the age of 18. She did not complete a law degree that she started in 2012. 
From 2017 to 2019, Lang was chairwoman of the Green Youth. And I have to say, I was a member of her party one year before she was born. Oh my God, I'm old. Her topics are feminism, diversity and strategies against the right, as well as health and care policy. Social justice combined with climate protection is a central concern of the woman who grew up with a single mother. Her experiences as a social worker in a women's shelter led her to go into politics. She emphasized in her application speech for the new office. Tens of thousands of euros have been raised. The fundraising campaign by the Green Mayor Boris Palmer seems to have been successful. The sum could support him in the election campaign. And in search of support for his possible election campaign as a non-party candidate for the mayoral election in Tübingen, Boris Palmer collected 100,000 euros this week. On Saturday, according to the website borispalmer.de, the Green Mayor broke the significant mark in the receipt of donations. Palmer told the German press agency on Saturday whether he wanted to compete or not, but he was overjoyed with the donation. Palmer recently announced that he no longer wanted to run as a Green Party candidate in the city's mayoral election in the fall because of his possible expulsion from the party. The 49-year-old has been mayor of the university town since 2007. On the website borispalmer.de, the mayor of Tübingen has been campaigning since Monday for financial support for a possible election campaign as a non-party candidate for the mayoral election in autumn. On Wednesday, with an account balance of 24,000 euros, Palmer wrote on Facebook that almost a quarter of the way to the funding goal was now complete. The chances of a candidacy have increased by leaps and bounds, he wrote. If he ultimately decides against running for office, he will return any amount. According to Palmer, a Green candidate who enjoys party support goes into the election campaign with about 100,000 euros usually. The wage limit for minijobs in Germany is to be increased to 520 euros per month. What Finance Minister Lindner sees as an opportunity for hardworking people is seen by the unions as a threat to regular employment. Trade unions have criticized the so-called traffic light coalition's planned increase in earnings for minijobs. DGB board member Anja Peel spoke of a huge mistake. And Guido Zeitler, chairman of the Food, Pleasure and Restaurant Union, the NGG, criticized the fact that raising the earning limit for minijobs from 450 to 520 euros posed the risk that minijobs would crowd out more and more regular jobs. Finance Minister Christian Lindner from the Liberals, on the other hand, spoke on Twitter of good news for everyone who works in a minijob. He says, for many hardworking people, such as students or pensioners, this is the chance of a little more net income. The upper earnings limit for mini jobs is to rise from 450 to 520 euros per month on October 1st. This should happen at the same time as the increase in the minimum wage to 12 euros, Federal Labour Minister Hubertus Seil told the newspapers of the Neue Berliner Redaktionsgesellschaft. He said, that's how it was agreed in the coalition and that's how we do it. And Peel explained that the pandemic had shown in an emergency, marginal employees need social protection against unemployment and entitlement to sickness benefits. Many jobs are also useless for their own pension. Therefore, the pension insurance obligation must apply to them without exception. The DGB wants the employer to pay the full social security contribution. Employees can then gradually participate in the financing with increasing gross wages up to parity. In this way, the coalition can remove obstacles to taking up employment subjects to compulsory insurance and prevent many jobs from becoming part-time and poverty traps for women. And the NGG chairman Seidler criticized that many jobs have been a part-time trap for years, especially for women. For them, poverty in old age is inevitable. It is wrong in terms of employment policy that the so-called traffic light does not want to make minute jobs subject to social security contributions from the first euro. She said, 
Mini jobs must be regulated instead of raising the earnings limit. Yes, they should be abolished in this form. After Gerhard Schröder's statements on the Ukraine conflict, criticism poured in from the ranks of the Conservatives. Hamburg's CDU State Chief Christoph Ploss is now demanding that the office of the former Chancellor be closed. The behavior of ex-Chancellor Schröder is just embarrassing and unworthy of a former Chancellor, Ploss told the news magazine Mirror. If he lobbies so openly for the interests of the Russian state for lavish payment, he should at least no longer be supported by German taxpayers, he said. If Schröder himself does not give up the tax finance privileges of a former Chancellor, the German Bundestag should revoke his office. And uh, the Social Democrats should also show some initiative there. The historian Andreas Röder, a member of the Christian Democrats, is also skeptical as to whether the former Chancellor should keep his office. If former Chancellor Schröder stands by the side of the aggressor in loyalty to the Nibelung and declares Ukraine to be the aggressor, then he harms Germany worldwide. And then it is a very legitimate question as to whether the German taxpayers should also finance an office and employees for this. Schröder is making himself the newscaster of Russia today, said the CSU regional group leader Alexander Dobrindt to German newspapers on Saturday. This complete denial of reality takes on dangerous traits, he said. Schröder had defended the German refusal to deliver arms to Ukraine and had clearly rejected Ukrainian criticism. He said, I really hope that the saber rattling in Ukraine will finally stop. He said that on the podcast The Agenda. And he said, because what I hear there, including accusations against Germany for the reasonable cancellation of arms deliveries, sometimes knocks the bottom out of the barrel. That's how we say it in Germany. At the same time, the former Social Democrat leader accused Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock of the Greens of provocation of Russia because she visited Ukraine before her visit to Moscow. And he really must have gotten a knock on the head or drunk too much, I don't know, or getting paid too much by Gazprom. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.